Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Receipts page in QuickBooks Online to upload receipts and bills in a PDF or image format, which it can then attempt to match to your existing transactions. Note that you should never upload receipts or bills that contain sensitive information like credit card numbers, social security numbers, or health information. The receipts can be PDF files or JPEG, JPG, GIF, or PNG image files. However, each image file or PDF should contain only a single receipt or bill. To open the Receipts page to manage existing receipts and bills or upload receipts and bills in QuickBooks Online, hover over the Banking link called the Transactions link if using the Business View in the navigation bar of QuickBooks Online. Then click the Receipts link in the side menu of choices that appears. Alternatively, click the Banking or Transactions link in the navigation bar and then simply click the Receipts tab at the top of the page that appears to the right. In the Receipts page, your receipt uploading options appear as buttons at the top of the window. To upload receipts or bills from your computer, click the Upload from Computer button to launch an open dialog box, which you use to browse for and select the PDF or image files of the receipts or bills to upload. Then click the Open button in this dialog box to finish uploading them to QuickBooks. Alternatively, you can also connect Intuit to a Google Drive account to access uploaded receipts from Google Drive if desired. To connect Google Drive and Intuit, click the Upload from Google Drive button and then follow the sign-in instructions in the pop-up window that appears. Alternatively, you can create a custom email address in QuickBooks Online to which you can forward received email receipts. Receipts sent to this custom email address then appear for review in the Receipts window. To create the email address, click the Forward from Email button to open a Set up Receipt Forwarding window, where you can then enter a custom name into the Enter Email Address field. Note that the email domain is at qbodocs.com. Also, note that after creating the email address, you cannot change it. After entering the new custom email address name, click the Next button. Then click the Looks Good button. On the final screen, you can click the Manage Forwarding Email link to manage which users can forward email to the address if needed and the pane that then appears at the right side of the window. If not needed, then click the Done button. Alternatively, you can also download the free QuickBooks Online mobile app for your mobile device's operating system. The QuickBooks Online app lets you sign in using your Intuit credentials, take a picture of a receipt in the app, and then review and categorize it on the receipts page in QuickBooks Online. After uploading the receipts or bills using any of the available methods, the receipts are then processed by QuickBooks Online, which may take up to five minutes. A message appears next to each receipt while it is in the Processing list on the For Review tab in the page to note this. To delete a processing receipt or bill, click the small X button in its upper right corner. Then click the Yes button in the Confirm Delete window to delete it, or click the No button to cancel the deletion. After processing, the receipts then appear in a list on the For Review tab. Information showing if there are matching transactions or not appears within the Action column for each receipt on the For Review tab. If there is a matching transaction, then the Match link appears here and information about the matching transaction appears in the Category column. To match the transaction as is, you can click the Match link. Alternatively, to review the receipt to add missing data or to review unmatched receipts, click the Review command under the Receipts Action column 
or select the Review command from the Receipts Action Columns dropdown. In the uploaded receipt window that opens, the receipt appears at the left side of the window. You can then add or edit any of the data in the fields that appear at the right side of this window as needed. Then click the Save and Next button to continue. For matching receipts, QuickBooks then shows the matching transaction on the next page. If this is correct, click the Match button to attach the receipt to the transaction. The receipt is then attached to the transaction, and you can review it on the Reviewed tab if desired. Alternatively, if this is an incorrect match, you can click the Undo Match link under the Receipts Action column on the Reviewed tab to remove the match. Alternatively, for unmatched receipts, you can click the Create Expense or Create Bill button to create the unrecorded expense or bill with the information you added in the previous screen. The receipt or bill is then added to QuickBooks Online, and you can review it on the Reviewed tab if desired. Alternatively, if this is incorrectly added, you can click the Undo Add link under the Receipts Action column on the Reviewed tab to remove it. Alternatively, if you uploaded the wrong file, you can click the Delete This Receipt button in the Uploaded Receipt window, and then click the Yes button in the Confirmation window that opens to delete the receipt. Also note that you can select the Delete command from the Action dropdown on the For Review tab to delete receipts from the list if desired. Note that you can also click the X button in the upper right corner of the uploaded receipt window to close the window without making any changes if needed. On the For Review tab, to perform batch actions on multiple uploaded receipts, check the checkbox to the left of the receipts upon which to perform the same action. You can click the checkbox at the top of the column of checkboxes to select them all if needed. Then click the Batch Action drop-down above the list. Then select either the Confirm Selected, Review Selected, or Delete Selected command as needed. To confirm the receipts, choose the Confirm Selected command. If you select Review Selected, then use the drop-downs in the window that opens to select the value or values to apply to the selected receipts. Then click the Modify button to save the changes, or the Cancel button to cancel them. If you select the Delete Selected command, then click the Yes button in the Confirmation Prompt window that opens to confirm the deletion, or click the No button to cancel the deletion. To view matched receipts, click the Reviewed tab, and then click the Expense or Bill link under the Linked Record column to open the transaction matched to the receipt. The name of the attached receipt file appears as a link in the Attachments field, which you can click to open it in a new window. You can then close it when finished examining it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.